Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is going to be an absolutely, totally different video than I've shown before. This video, I'm not gonna be working and doing all the crazy installs that I usually do and all the crazy lifting of all the cabinets that had to go into this place. Now, what you're seeing behind me is an absolutely stunning carriage house. It's in a beautiful rural road area in Ontario, Canada. It was just built and it has no one living in it yet. And the customers have been absolutely amazing to work with. And so have the contractors and they've allowed me to take a tour before they move in. And I wanted to take you guys along to see all the stunning cabinetry and all the stunning floors. This house is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look crazy big but it has a lot of square footage to it. And it is a very special, unique house and we put a lot of work into it. I actually got help with this install. There's a lot of things that I never done in a house like this before and I was asked to do it and I was excited to go ahead and do all these special things that you're going to see once we get into the house. So let's go take a cool tour of this place and let's go check it out. So, right off the bat, we come into this beautiful entry with this stunning built-in closet. Now we put this in, it's fitted into the wall perfectly, beautiful color pin doors, open it up, you got your beautiful plywood core, maple cabinets, you got shoe rack, coat hangers, and soft closing doors. Same on the other side. So you have your guests over, you come in, put your shoes in, put your coats in, boom. So that's right off the garage here, guys. Garage is here. Pretty cool. Nice. Garage on the other side. Oh, lots of room. Then we go up. This is upstairs, so there's no living quarters on the bottom. It's just storage, basically come up these beautiful walnut stairs. Check this out, guys. I'm not gonna show this to you right away. But you're gonna get a little sneak peek of it as we walk up here. Look at these floors. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful walnut floors. Check this out. A beautiful wood fireplace. Beautiful windows. They're absolutely stunning. The wood, the white, the light colors. We're not gonna get to that. We're gonna keep cruising along here. We'll go right back to the back of the house. It's got a built-in laundry room. We've got a powder room. This was pre-built here. This was not me. Got the bathroom. For your guests. spare bedroom and we're walking back into the master bedroom so here we have built-in closets so his and her closets we got our solid maple tongue and groove drawers soft closing coat hangers or Clothes hangers, should I say. Master bedroom, beautiful window, ceiling fan. Check this, guys. So this is the master ensuite. So this cabinet we put in, beautiful crown molding. Massive storage, guys. Check this out. I think all the linens and things you can put in here. Tons of room. This is a massive cabinet. Big deep drawers. Again, 
solid maple tongue and groove drawer boxes, nothing but the best. Soft closing, beautiful tiled shower, check it out, absolutely stunning. And then we got this, check that out, beautiful floating vanity, beautiful lights, all the trimmings, gorgeous. Got a towel holder down there. Beautiful matching end panels. Perfectly fit to the wall. Crown molding. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that fit. Didn't have to be trimmed, cut, or anything. Fit in perfectly. And yes, shower was in before this was put in. I installed this cabinet. My uh, installer put this one in, did an amazing job. And guys, I didn't show you up here, so check this out. So up above us, check that out. So this is an old hand-hewn beam I had faced and cut into pieces and actually runs from one end of the house all the way to the other end. So you can see it's in here, across here. It runs 65 feet, yeah, 65 feet I had to do. My installer helped me for a bit of it. And this end part, or these two last rooms that I showed you were all me, it even was in here. So that was to cover up an LVL. So that's what I was asked to do. I've never done that before. It was super fun to do. Check this, guys. This is absolutely amazing. So it's over here, and it runs all the way across. History, nothing but history. Love it. Looks absolutely beautiful. So much character. Cut and fit perfectly all the way in. And all the way over here. All the way across. And one piece that I fit. This one took like two, three hours to fit across here. I had to put it on a 45 so it all fit in there so it looks like one beam. Turned out amazing. Love it. Beautiful window. And now guys, Here's the stunner. Check this out. So as you walk up the steps, I'm gonna just do this again. I'm gonna go down. As we come up, look at what you enter. This is your first look. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful pantry, two islands. Guys, this is 24 feet across here of cabinetry. Turned out absolutely amazing. Thank you, Lenny, for helping me install this. I couldn't have done it without you. You were a blast on site. He helped me with this part of the beam from here over. We had scaffolding in here. I'll, I'll put some pictures up to show you guys because I do have pictures when, when we were putting this in. This was not easy, but Len helped me. He was awesome. And then I finished off over here and the rest of the house and Len, he did an amazing job on this kitchen. Spot on, everything's perfect guys. Check this out. Stunning end panels, fit perfectly to the wall. There's no caulking, there's no nothing in there other than just panel to the wall. Beautiful, beautiful crown molding. And check this out. Wow, absolutely amazing. Look at the storage you got in there. You got three pullouts, adjustable shelf, and three drawers down at the bottom. All soft closing, soft closing doors. And over here, this is the back of the island, so this is the work island. We got our decorative panels, drawers to boot, 
We got a little broom closet here, adjustable shelves, put your Dyson in there. Boom, you're just a rocking away. We got built-in dishwasher with a panel. And guys, this is huge. So this here is over 36 inches. This is the biggest double cutlery I've ever built. And isn't that amazing? You think you could fill that up? Amazing. I absolutely love it. All soft clothes. Beautiful. Over here, garbage and recycling. Big spoons, spatula, knives, right for your cooking. Custom range hood. Built-in blower. Another bar sink. Spice drawer. Floating shelves. Appliance garage. Now this guys is the table island. So we were gonna put chairs around here and they asked for storage in here. So this is what I thought of. So push to open and look at the amount of storage. 24 inches of storage underneath your table yet. Absolutely beautiful. Turned out amazing. Beautiful soapstone countertops. The colors Aaron picked out was amazing. She did a beautiful job. Ron did an amazing job at the contracting. Him and his partner, Brandon, they're two young entrepreneurs. I think they're around 30 years old. They were the brains behind this amazing house and they did an absolutely stunning job. And I was lucky enough to get asked to help out with this. I think it turned out absolutely amazing. Like check that beam out. <laughs> so cool. And check this guys, check this out. Who wouldn't want to sit out here every single evening? Good morning. Look at the views. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They got a little seating area already set up. This is where you enter. So cool. So yeah, that's the outside. Blown away. Couldn't have turned out any better. But yeah, I am so blown away by the end result here and so thankful that I was a part of this project. Again, thank you Ron and Brandon for asking me to help with this project. I met them last summer, great guys to work for. Couldn't uh, met two nicer friends. They were great on site. They, they helped with the design of everything. And it is just stunning. Stone, the colors, everything just turned out amazing. So guys, let me know what you think of this. Drop your comments down below, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. So guys, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Let me know what you thought about this grand tour of this place. Did you like all the colors? Did you like the countertops? Did you like the kitchen? Did you like the bathrooms? Did you like the beam work that I did? Drop your comments down and below. Let me know what you thought. I worked extremely hard on this project. 
help me out, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Got the appliance garage still open.